Hey, my name is Matt Cunningham. Uh, I'm in Dr. Moody's 202 Foundations of Education's class. This is my second RLO over cultural diversity. Uh, the quote I picked over cultural diversity is, Peace requires everyone to be in the circle, wholeness and inclusion. My definition of cultural diversity is different cultures standing together in different locations of the world. My culture is important because they help others whenever they're in need to help make society a better place. My community, um, I grew up in Ellis, Kansas. It's a small town in the middle of Kansas, which is in the middle of the United States. Um, Ellis is a small community. There's only 2,000 people in it. Uh, so everybody likes everybody. You know everybody. You see everybody on a regular basis. Uh, around town, whether it be at a high school football game, high school basketball game, parades around town, at the grocery store, out to eat, uh, wherever you're at, you're going to see somebody you know and have a nice smile on their face and have something to talk about. <coughs> My family is really big. Um, most, of, most of them live in Ellis or in towns close by, so I'm able to see them pretty much whenever I want. Uh, they're not too far away. If I need to talk to somebody, I can drive to their town and within an hour. Uh, my family gets together every year for the holidays, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Fourth of July, all the good holidays. Uh, my family is really close. Uh, everybody loves everybody. If anybody is ever in trouble or needs to talk to somebody, uh, we're always there for each other. Food, my family tries to eat as healthy as possible whenever they can, but usually they tend to break down and start eating junk food or drink a pop like Pepsi or have a Snickers bar whenever they can and it kind of throws off their diet. But most of the time uh, we eat wild game because my dad is a big hunter, so we like to go out and do a lot of hunting. Um, for most meals, we'll eat deer, which is venison, or turkey, or geese, or duck, or any other wild game. Uh, we have five meals, um, starting with breakfast, then lunch, and dinner, dessert, and snacks. Uh, start off with breakfast, usually a bowl of cereal, but sometimes we'll make a big meal like pancakes and eggs and sausage and all that fun stuff. Then lunch, which we usually eat a light lunch, consisting of meat and maybe a vegetable. Then dinner is bigger. We all sit down as a family and eat dinner together and have plenty of food all the time. Um, then when we start sprinkling in, it, sprinkling in desserts and snacks is where it throws off eating healthy and we'll start eating ice cream or all that fun stuff. Uh, my friends are probably the most important thing to me. Uh, we've all grown up together and played sports, went to school, hung out since we were four or five years old. Um, they're a big part of my life. I live with five guys I graduated with and hope to be with them for you know the rest of my life. Uh, my hobbies include sports, hunting, fishing, hanging out with my friends. Uh, usually when we're hanging out, we'll play video games, go out and play basketball, football, do some hunting or fishing, or do whatever we can to just have a good time. Uh, the holidays, uh, me, my family, and my friends celebrate New Year's, Easter, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Halloween. Um, New Year's is more of me and my friends celebrating, and then 4th of July, our town has a big block party where most of the town and families and friends gather and have a big meal, big potluck, and everybody buys a bunch of fireworks, and we have a big 4th um, of July show at in the evening. Uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas is mainly family. We'll go to my grandparents' house and all talk, catch up, 
see what's going on in each other's lives and have a big meal with you know, th uh, turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, stuffing, all the works. And Halloween uh, is more of a more celebrated with just the friends. We'll all dress up and go out, or used to go trick or treating back in the day. Um, around here, there's mainly three genres of music that people listen to: uh, country, rock, and rap. Uh, country is the big one because we live in a rural community so there are a ton of farmers and most of them like to listen to country like George Strait, Jason Aldean, Lou Bryan, etc. Um, rock is my favorite. Uh, ACDC, Led Zeppelin are considered classic rock. They were back in the 60s, 70s, a little bit of the 80s, some of them. Uh, I like rock because I grew up around it. My dad listens to it. All my friends listen to it. And uh, it's my favorite. And then rap is more of younger generation. Like 50 Cent, G-Unit, Eminem, all of them. It's more R&B, more uh, newer stuff. And I went to school in Ellis. Um... Ellis has three schools. There is a Catholic school called St. Mary's, and it only has grades kindergarten through sixth. That's where I went to school. And then there's a public school that has grades K through eighth. And when uh, kids are done at St. Mary's, you go through kindergarten through sixth grade. When you're done, you have to go to junior high at the public school. And uh, that's where you meet a lot more friends from the public school and uh, start playing competitive sports against schools around the area and in the league. And then we only have one high school, grades 9 through 12, and that's where I went. There's only about 150 people, 200 people tops in our school, counting all the teachers, all the students. Um, in Ellis, there are actually quite a bit of things to do. Um, a lot of people say... You know, they don't like small towns because there's not enough to do. And then people couldn't be more wrong. Um, there's a big truck stop in Ellis. A teen center for you know, mostly younger kids hang out there, though. And then a hangout right next to the railroad tracks is what we call Memorial. Kids will go down there every night, park their cars, and just wait for more kids to show up. And from there, we'll plan something out and go from there uh, like I said we'll meet there and go get a pickup basketball game going or go out in the evenings do some hunting or if it rains go out in the country roads take the trucks out and go mud and get in a little trouble um, it's a fun town like I said there's only 2,000 people in there but there's a ton of things you can do. Uh, for vacation, uh, me and my friends or me and my family, either one, we like to go to Major League Baseball games or go to other professional sporting events like uh, National Football League, go to football games. Uh, since we're in the middle of Kansas, we like to either go to Kansas City and go visit Kauffman Stadium where the Kansas City Royals play, or go to Denver and go to Coors Field and watch the Colorado Rockies. Um, if we don't go to a baseball game, we'll go to a football game, and we'll go to Kansas City and watch the Chiefs, or go to Denver and watch the Broncos. Um, the Royals are my favorite team, and the Chiefs are my favorite team, so it's nice only being four or five hours away so we can go up there pretty much whenever we want. Um, me and my friends or family usually go up there about three times a summer and make a weekend out of it. We'll also, when we're in Kansas City, go to Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun. And they just got a Schlitterbahn, so we'll go hit that up. Uh, those are amusement parks or water parks, and those are tons of fun. The only problem with these are is they get a little expensive, so you got to plan it around our budget.
Um, either way, whatever we decide to do when we're with family and friends, out hanging out, having a good time, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is my RLO presentation over cultural diversity. Uh, I hope you learned something, got something out of it. Uh, thanks for watching.